ladies and gentlemen, France, France, a Western, <laughs> a Western European nation wants to join BRICS to come out against the U.S. dollar. <laughs> America, didn't your mama teach you to get along well with others? Will look like you're getting an F. Well, see, you know, I always told America that you get an F on social issues and you don't care and you don't even try to fix nothing. But now you're seeing your whole, this issue with America not fixing things is a global thing. When they don't get along, they do nothing to fix it. And then now you got France saying F the U.S. And I'm ready to ditch their dollar too. Uh, uh, uh. Y'all, you couldn't make it up on a good day. And they said China's president Z Jinping is pouring on the lavish food and rolling out the red carpet. And France is over there to also counter the U.S. Boy, this thing is going to be huge, y'all. Wait and see. It's going to be a lot of nations joining China, Russia, Brazil, South Africa, India. And you know, Mexico is trying to get in on this too. And look at how many of their people they have taken over in this country. And they're ready to turn on you too. Mm -mm -mm. So China's president has given French president, Emmanuel Macron, an unusually lavish welcome on a state visit which some analysts see as a sign of the two coming together within the European Union to counter the United States. Woo! The world is tired of you. So they said the two leaders visited Southern China together on Friday where Macron was due to drink China's tea with the, you know, the president, a uh, former resident of his father in a city of Guangzhou, and the economic and manufacturing powerhouse in that province. So the diplomat said it underlines the importance of Beijing attaches to its relationship with a key member of the EU as it looks for support against what Z has called an all around containment, encirclement and suppression by the US. All Chinese foreign policy offenses have the US China relationship in the background. So to work with any country, especially mid or big powers like France, is something they'll try to do to counter the U.S. Mm, mm, mm. I think this is going to get embarrassing for the U.S. after a while. You know, it, it, it's okay because everybody has enemies, right? You know, one or two, that, that's to be expected. You gonna have a whole gang of them, man. That's what this is really turning out to be. So in a sense, Macron has perhaps Beijing's most important partner in Europe, said Macron often considered by diplomats to be an important driver of key policies within the EU. Macron traveled to China with the European Commission Chief Ursula von der Leyen, uh, both pressuring China on Ukraine, but failing to wrest any public shift in position from Z. So he's not going to change his position about 
Ukraine and, you know, China is pretty much uh, siding along with Russia. Still, Macron was given the full red carpet treatment. So, hey, we'll see what happens. So, uh, John Pierre Raff, uh, Raffin, a uh, former French prime minister who has traveled extensively to China, told Reuters on the sidelines of a deal signing ceremony in the Great Hall of the People. Some of Z's charm was having an effect. Isn't diplomacy at one point or another a bit of flattery, he said? There is always a bit of that in human relations. Each side plays with that. In Washington, China's diplomat engagement with France is being viewed as a degree of skepticism. Beyond Ukraine, China would relish in realignment that draws a closer to Europe economically as relations with the United States fray. But such a shift is unlikely at this point, and people familiar with the United States government uh, with their thinking. Well, I mean, America can talk about what somebody is thinking all they want. Uh, we see these leaders coming together, you know, and what can you really do to stop it? And we already know you're not going to treat, even if the French president decides to align with BRICS, what are you going to do? You're not going to treat them like Gaddafi. So Washington has taken a wait and see approach to the European engagements with Beijing over Ukraine, according to the people who declined to be named. Okay, so you're given these opinions, but you won't say who you are. So they won't give their names, but they're commenting on what they think. Uh, yeah, okay. So Thursday, Macron urged Beijing to talk sense to Russia over the war in Ukraine, while uh, express willingness to speak to Ukraine's president, Zelensky. Z did not mention a possible conversation with Zelensky in China, officials report um, during his meeting. Macron seems to believe that he could charm Z into shifting his approach on the war, he said. He gave Z a series of gifts, denouncing decoupling as, a, uh, as a, you know, he was just trying to, you know, when these leaders come together, they're always exchanging gifts. So uh, bringing a huge business delegation along and reaffirming his support for strategic autonomy without getting much of anything in return. So China is wooing. Macron is part of a fluff of diplomatic moves this year as it attempts to wriggle out of containment by the United States amid differences over Taiwan, the Ukraine war, and the U.S.-led restrictions on technology exports. Uh-huh. So... Y'all, we will see what happens. So China-EU engagement will continue to come. Um, it will continue in the coming weeks with foreign policy. Chief Joseph Borrell and Germany's foreign minister is also due in Beijing. China and Europe can still be partners said Wang, uh, director of the Center for European Studies in Renmin University in Beijing, rather than systemic rivals or competitors. So y'all, let me know what you think. It seems like he's really pouring it on to win France over, and we'll see if they will get France.
you know this whole thing with bricks is getting so interesting boy y'all pay attention to this because this is definitely historic what we are watching please leave your comment and subscribe don't forget to hit on the notification bell and i'll see you on the next video peace family